Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here with me today. Thank you for joining our community. At 1.22 a.m. local time there in Santa Rosa, California, there was a magnitude 2.5 earthquake not far from the 4.4 and the 4.3. There were several earthquakes back in September of last year. On March uh, 23rd, there was also a magnitude 2.7. Um, that was this year. Any earthquake has the potential of being a foreshock for something much larger. They say there is a 5% chance within the next 5 days and a 20% chance within the next month. This earthquake was along the Roger Creek Fault Zone. It is four earthquake zones that have the potential have built up stress for a large earthquake for the Bay Area. Many geologists think that the next big one will occur cause an earthquake uh, for the Bay Area along the Roger Creek Fault. Um, there's also the Hayward Fault that is very dangerous. There's also the Calaveras Fault that runs from Hollister to Danville and the Greenville Fault from Vallejo to Fairfield. This earthquake was about 4, 4.4 miles in depth or 7.1 kilometers. 22 people said they felt this earthquake. It was felt as far south as San Leandro. And let's check this out. Let's see. Intensity level 3. Intensity level 2. Intensity level 3 for Petaluma. And then uh, down here by San Leandro. Intensity level 3. So intensity level 3 means it was felt noticeably indoors. But not always recognized as an earthquake. Standing autos rock slightly and may have been described as a vibration like a passing truck. Here we have the moment tensor ball. It shows that the fault actually moved going south and a little bit towards the east. The first wave of the earthquake uh, came from uh, the northeast a little bit. Tension was applied going west. Even though they show an intensity level of 3, here they gave it an intensity level of 4, 22 responses. So it evidently woke some people up and when that happened their dishes and windows were rattling. And if they were looking out the window or possibly sitting in their car or RV or whatever, um, it would have been rocking noticeably. So for those of you that may be in the Spring Lake Village area, what did it felt like? Um, how did your pets react? We also have the Santa Rosa Creek over here. You might recognize that. Did you have any slight damage? I would like to know. Please put that information down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, be prepared. You never know when some sort of disaster might happen. Yeah, um, how many years ago was it? You guys had the fires there? close to Santa Rosa. Yeah, be prepared. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.